Welcome, hello from Creative Memories. All right, so to create our layout, we're actually going to be using the Sunshine Recipe Template. If you've never used a recipe template before, um, the front cover is going to give you a great deal of information on kind of the potential that is that template. So it's going to show all the options for cutting out different things. So for example, to make this layout, you would use all of these shapes that are highlighted in blue. You would ignore the ones that are left gray. Then down here, it kind of shows a different option. So this is a layout made kind of using a sunburst kind of look on the top with two photos on the bottom. And these are the cuts you would make using the same template with the blue ones highlighted that created this layout and the gray ones ignored. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this template for the layout today. Um, but I just want you to know that these templates are so versatile. So they, they work for a sunburst look like this, but they also go completely um, in different directions depending on which lines you choose to use on the template. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with white cardstock and our template. So this is our template and we're going to be using our clips here. These are multi-purpose clips that you get when you purchase um, the kit. It also comes with a photo labeling pencil. And all you need to do is take your, um, take your template, line it up because it measures 12 by 12, and then just clip it to your cardstock. And this just helps it not to move around, keeps it in place for you. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to make the background for our layout. So I'm actually using triangles all the way around. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to trace the triangle shape, the large triangle shape. And there are going to be eight of them. So I'm going to go all the way around doing all eight triangles. So I'm just trying to make this large space. I'm ignoring all of these extra lines here. All right, so I should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take off my clips, remove my template, and this is what I've got. Just like a, a, a pinwheel kind of look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trimmer, and you could just use scissors if you like, but since these are all perfectly straight lines, a trimmer is actually gonna be faster and easier for me. I'm gonna place it in my trimmer, and then I'm actually gonna use my sight guides to line up to make sure that I'm right on track for the right spot. And then I'm just gonna slice. So I'm gonna cut all of these out and it's gonna go pretty quickly. All right, so just like that, we've got all of these pieces. And if you do have little leftover um, pencil marks, what I like to do is just flip them over. So these are all my good side now. This is going to be, this green piece is going to be our background. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side. And then we're actually going to use these different patterns in order to create kind of flaps for each of our sections. So I'll show you how that's gonna go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the red one. You can start with any pattern you like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my template and I'm gonna line it up so that the edge lines up with the edge of the paper. So the edge of the template lines up with the edge of the paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace those triangles again. 
And just like before, I want the same space to be traced. And then the other ones are just ignored for this particular layout. So we're just doing two. All right, so that might be hard to see, but once I cut it out, it will be much more simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to line it up and cut one of the triangles just like you cut your white pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and slice off this extra strip. So this first triangle that I'm cutting out right now is going to be exactly like the white ones. So it's just that exact triangle shape from the template. So that can go over here. This one, I'm actually going to leave an extra strip of paper and I'll show you how I determine how to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting off the edges for two sides while leaving that side edge to be a flap. So you'll notice this behind here is not only this triangle shape, but it actually goes all the way to the edge. And that's gonna leave us the opportunity to put a score line here so that this can flip open and closed. This one will get adhered down right down here, but it'll get adhered straight down. So we're going to have every other triangle flap open to show a photo and some journaling, kind of like a peekaboo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change out my cutting blade here for a scoring blade. And then I'm gonna line this up in my trimmer so that that line that I drew on the edge where I would have cut for this one, I'm just going to score. And because this is patterned paper, just score very, very lightly. You just want it to be a guide for your paper. If you push too hard, you could push through the paper and actually cut it, you don't want that. So with patterned paper, just be a little bit gentle with your trimmer. And because this is gonna get adhered down, we wanna make sure that we cut off this little extra bit. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and just snip it off. And then that way, when I adhere it down, it's gonna be hidden behind that white piece. So let's go ahead and let's do that with the three other patterns that I have below here. All right, so now that you've got this all sorted out, what you're actually going to do is you are going to take the flat ones and make a little pile and take the ones with um, flaps and make a little pile. So 
You should have four of each. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape runner and you're going to put a line of adhesive on the inside of that flap. And then you're going to adhere it around one of the white triangles. Now in a perfect world, these will be the exact same size. If you do have any white poking out or showing, by all means, just use your, your um, scissors and just trim it down. But we're going to do that to all four of these that have the side, we're gonna make little pockets with them. to do is we're going to bring back that 12 by 12 green sheet and we're going to kind of start putting our layouts together. What we'll do is we'll pull out our template so that we can kind of see where things go and I find it helpful to just put my clips down at the bottom and then I lift it up to adjust. So if I put them in the same spot then I can just always lift this up and put it back into place to adjust. It kind of creates um, a, a hinge or a seam. So I'm going to start with this orange one and it's going to get adhered right here. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to flip it over, add some adhesive, and just make sure you get right into that corner so that your corner adheres down really, really well. And then like I said, I just use this kind of as a hinge. So I'm going to stick it under here, making sure my template is still straight. And then before I push down, I'm just gonna wiggle it around until I think it's looking good. Just like that. And we're all set for that one. Now I do wanna go every other for flat and flip as I'm calling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the flat yellow one, add adhesive to the back, just like I did for that flip one, making sure I'm getting to the corners. If you do ever go over with your adhesive, just make sure that you roll it back before you adhere it down because you don't want it to stick. And then we're going to go ahead and the same thing, just kind of use this as a guide. Don't press down until you're confident you're in the right spot. Wiggle, wiggle, and then adhere it into place. So the next one is going to be a flip. So I'm going to use the blue one. So I'm going to add adhesive right to those corners. take the white one with the yellow accents and it's going to go right here. that's that so those are your flaps and your flats all adhered down so these four flap up and on these four where I'm going to go ahead and add photos and a little bit of journaling but to keep them down I'm actually going to put a title in the center here that they can all just tuck under and that's going to keep it all kind of nice and flush so I'll show you how to go about doing that 
All right, so to make our title, we're actually going to use one of the um, mats from the mat pack. There are so many great titles in the mat pack. So depending on what your layout is for, you should definitely check that out as an option. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut that out using the circle from the custom cutting system. And it's actually going to be the three and a half inch circle pattern, which is the inside ring on this circle. So I'll cut that out. But before I do that, I'm actually going to cut out another circle using the four inch circle, which is the outer ring of this small one. And I'm gonna do that with the green blade. So I'm just gonna take these two little prongs and they're gonna go in the outer circle of this pattern. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. Just like that. And then, I'm going to take the same circle with some white cardstock and I'm going to cut a mat for it. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this circle with the blue blade around the four inch circle again. So these prongs are going to go in the outer edge again. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out a circle using white cardstock. And since I've used a different blade, it will actually map perfectly onto that green circle just like that. So that will be our background. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this with the green blade. And this is the inner circle. So all of these custom cutting system um, patterns all have two tracks, the inner track and the outer track to make two different size circles. And there are three blades. So the blue blade, the green blade, and there's also a red blade. So for each of those tracks, you can actually get three different size circles, which is awesome. So our title is going to end up looking something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and adhere my pattern paper down to the white. And then I'm going to pop up this perfect day, but I'm going to keep my foam squares sort of in the center or closer to the center. Um, I'm just thinking that I'm going to end up taking some embellishments or stickers and putting them under along this side. So I'm going to make sure I've got um, some foam squares down here just to make sure it's all secure but I wanna make sure that I can tuck things under without having those foam squares get in my way. So I'll adhere that here, just like that. And then if we bring back our layout, to adhere this into place, we're again going to be using foam squares, but we're going to be thoughtful to make sure that we don't put any, any adhesive near these flaps. So we're going to put foam squares on the corner of all the ones that are flat. And you're going to want to make sure that they're close enough to the center that this will be completely covered up. So then once I take off these backings and adhere this down, then these can be opened and then tucked in to be closed. Isn't that fun? Okay, so let's do some embellishing. Let's see where we end up. So these, of course, are the Boho Escape foiled embellishments and they coordinate perfectly with our um, paper. And I think I'm gonna take this one and just kind of have it go across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of foam square right here so that we have even level. And then I'm gonna do um, flat adhesive here. And then that way, it's adhered in both of those places. Then, I think I'll use this foiled um, leaf 
as well as this beautiful flower. And I'm just gonna tuck them, like I said, just down into here before I adhere them. So I'm gonna adhere my foiled leaf straight down, making sure this adhesive is only gonna end up on the um, circle and not elsewhere, because I don't want it to interfere with my flaps. And then I'm gonna pop this up. So I'm just gonna put a couple of foam squares here, knowing that it'll be, they'll be hidden by the embellishment. And then I'll just tuck the embellishment under right about there, I think. So that looks good to me. There are also really cute Boho Escape um, stickers. So I think I'm gonna use a couple of them too. And I think I will use a door. right there and then I'm going to use family time but instead of adhering it straight down I'm just going to add some foam squares so that it so that it can pop up just like that there I think that's pretty great. Now, another fun thing that you can do is you can use the template to give you an idea of where to embellish. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out some strips using our border maker system, as well as the mirrored triangles border maker cartridge now this is actually um currently out of stock but it is returning in august you could also use any other border maker cartridge that you might have on hand i just thought this one was super fun but i'm just going to put it into my border maker system and i'm going to make a whole bunch of strips Now you'll need to make about three of these to go all the way around. But I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna go about using them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, template on top and I'm gonna use this line here as a guide to where I want these to go. So I'm going to use my repositionable tape runner and that is the green one outside of a cartridge it looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a line of adhesive down the center of that strip. And then I'm just going to lift this up and I'm going to adhere gently my, my strip down to the edge, kind of with this in the center. Now, the nice thing about repositionable adhesive is that it can be wiggled around quite a bit before you commit. So, I'm going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until I have it kind of right where I want it. And then I'm gonna press down. I can remove this. And then I can just pull up my piece of pattern paper and then go ahead and use this as a guide to slice off that extra. and then um, we'll keep going all the way around the circle. Now, when you're adhering these down for the ones that are flat, it's a little bit more tricky because you can't um, flip it up to cut it off, but you'll notice it's not too bad. So what I do is I just line it up just like I did for the flap ones, 
and then I um, line it up to follow that line yet again. And then I just take my scissors and I kind of pull up the tab and have my scissors follow the line of the, of the pattern paper underneath. And then I snip down. And so on this side, it's a little trickier because it's a little bit shorter, but same idea. I just have my scissors kind of right butt up against the side of the pattern paper below and then just slice down and it lines up perfectly. And there you have it. That's how you make a circle using the template as a guide using your border maker cartridge. Thank you.